Yeah, it bothers me. Because you see, it was twice there. I mean, once at Ames with Daniels, and then again at Arthur's. In that cheap, crummy fucking pool room. I mean, why, why did I do that, Sarah? Why did I have to do it? I mean, I could have beat that guy. I could have beat him cold. He would have never known. I just had to show him. You know, I just had to show him what the game is like when it's great. I mean, when it's really great, you know? I mean, I don't care. Anything could be great. Brick Lane could be great if a guy knows. I mean, if he knows what he's doing and why, and if he can make it come off. For me, I mean, when I'm going, when I'm really going, you know, I feel like, like a jockey must feel, you know? And he's got all that speed, all that power underneath him. And he's coming into the stretch, the pressure's on him, and he knows. He just feels when to let it go and how much. Because he's got everything working for him. Timing, touch. It's a, it's a great feeling, sir. I mean, it's a really great feeling when you're right and you know you're right. I mean, then all of a sudden, you know, I got oil in my arm. The pool cue is a part of me. Pool cue, pool cue's got nerves in it. It's a piece of wood, it has nerves in it. You feel the roll of the balls. You don't have to look, you just know. You make shots no one's ever made before. And you play the game the way nobody's ever played it before.